This is an artist flywheel. It's a collection of all the different things, all the individual pieces that make up the ecosystem of everything that I do as a musician and as a creator. And today we're gonna to talk about what this is exactly, how you should put it together, and why you need one. What's up guys, it's Tom. Welcome back to the lab and welcome back to my life. Today, we're talking about the artist flywheel. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you've probably heard me drop this from time to time. This is something I've kind of made reference to, but I've never actually done a video on the thing itself. I've talked about it uh, most specifically in a lot of the live streams. I will reference the flywheel of things that kind of put together uh, to make all the stuff that I do. And so today I want to walk through exactly what is in my artist flywheel and what you should think about maybe putting in yours. Now, this is an idea that is not my own. I wish I could take credit for it. It's kind of a popular thing amongst like startup companies and founders and kind of tech entrepreneurs and things like that. And so it's an idea that I've basically kind of stolen and modeled after what uh, that world uses and applied it to our own, the world of music. And it's a great roadmap to have to kind of think about what you want to do as an artist, as a musician, as a content creator, and overall just as someone who has a lot of different irons in the fire and a lot of different revenue streams. Putting things down on paper like this for me helps me to sort of map out of my head what feeds into what and how things sort of interact and engage with one another. And it has helped me build my business much more easily thus far, and I foresee it helping me a lot more down the road as well. Okay, so to get started, let's start here. This is you. This is your brand. Uh, I'm using a globe because this is kind of like the world of you as an artist. And for this video, we're going to use me as an example. So let's say this is the world of Tom. This is my brand and everything that encompasses it, all the different things that I do. Uh, anywhere you might find me in the world, on the internet specifically, and especially anything that you see Tom Dupree the third on, that's what this is. This is my global brand, as it were. And these are all of the different pieces that make up my global brand. Some of them uh, have yet to be implemented. Most of them have been implemented. Some of them have been implemented on a very small scale, or I'm still sort of toying with and figuring out. But for the most part, all of these things are active and uh, part of what I do currently. So working our way from the top left, uh, we've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, blogging, podcasting, email newsletters, Shopify for merch and online store, courses and paid communities, uh, session work as a drummer, touring as a drummer, and then lastly, we've got a combination of affiliate links and brand deals. And so these are all the things that encompass what it is that I do. And all of these different things have a different purpose. Uh, some of them are just to drive traffic. Some of them are just to engage with people. Some of them are to make money for me. And because what I like to focus on a lot is the business aspect of music, what we're really going to talk about today is how all of these things play together to help you make money. So the first thing we want to look at is which of these are the things that drive revenue? Which of these earn revenue for me and put money into my pocket? And that's these. These are the things with the green arrows pointing to me. This is all revenue that comes from all of these different places and comes back to me. Looking at all of this, the revenue generators for my entire brand are YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, blogging, podcasting, session work as a drummer, Shopify for merchandise, touring as a drummer, online courses, education, paid community, and educational products, and then brand deals and affiliate links. And these are all the things that will ultimately either currently do or ultimately will put money into my pocket. So these are the things that you want to drive traffic to. These are the things that I want to drive my traffic to ultimately, because the ultimate goal is to have a sustainable business that I can have and will make me money that so I can continue to do what I love because I'm not making money at this, then it's just a hobby. If I'm paying for it, it's a hobby. If it's making money for me, it's a business. So I want it to be a business. So I want it to make money for me. So my goal is to drive traffic to all of these things in some way, shape or form. So how do I do that? Well, like this, <laughs> this gigantic web of traffic direction and funnels 
is where all the things go to help me get to the revenue into my pocket. So this is a lot of information. There's a lot of things going on on this page. But when we look at it, if you look at any given icon, any given platform and sort of trace it out from there, you can start to kind of follow where things are happening. If we just look at Instagram, for instance, you can see that Instagram is driving traffic to Twitter, to Spotify. It's driving traffic to YouTube, to TikTok, to my podcast, uh, to Shopify. That's where Instagram is sort of pointing people. And every one of these things has that kind of relationship. YouTube is the biggest hub that I have, and it's driving traffic to pretty much everywhere. As you can see on the far right, touring is siloed out by itself. Touring doesn't drive traffic to anything or anywhere. Uh, in fact, I have it listed only because it's a revenue stream for me, not because it's necessarily a current part of the business I'm building. But it is music. It is a revenue stream based off of music. So I wanted to include it in here. You can see that above that session work only has a couple of things that are driving traffic to it. I've got YouTube driving traffic to session work, and then I've got uh, Spotify that drives some traffic to session work. And the rest of that is just organic promotion. I'm just, you know, getting found on, um, on Google searches or on certain platforms where I have a presence uh, as a session player. And so that, that largely is kind of siloed by itself as well. I've got email that's driving traffic all kinds of places. Uh, you can see Shopify for merch sales is just a destination. It's not driving traffic anywhere. Once you hit Shopify, that's kind of the uh, end of the road, which is where I want you to end up. Same for affiliate links and brand deals. That's not really driving traffic anywhere for me. Uh, it's sending traffic kind of back out to some of the links that are posted in video descriptions or uh, generating traffic for companies that want to partner with me for videos or content and things like that. Looking at all of this, you can see how this is a very complex web of traffic going to and from uh, all these different platforms to other platforms. And if we overlay that with the revenue streams coming back from these platforms, we can see this full picture of where the traffic is going and where it is ultimately driving revenue back into my business, into my pocket as a content creator, as a musician, as an artist, as all the things, all the hats that I wear. So this is kind of the big full spectrum of things and how traffic gets from one thing ultimately to generating some revenue for me into my pocket. But here's kind of the kicker of this. All of this isn't currently active or functioning perfectly as I want it to be. This is the big sort of master map of what I want to see happen ultimately in my business. If we back it up a little bit, these are the things that are currently working for me and working well. I've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, YouTube, and Spotify, session work, touring, and brand deals and affiliate links. All of these things are currently active, working well, carrying their own weight, and generating either traffic or revenue for me. So if you want to start building your own artist flywheel like this, my recommendation is to start here. Start with what you currently have and what's working and map that out. Put together all of the things that you're currently doing well and that are kind of effortless to you or take minimal amount of effort uh, so that you're not trying to create habits around them. Find the habits you already have and put those down on paper. So as you can see for me, I've got revenue streams in the form of YouTube, Spotify, session work, touring, and brand deals and affiliate links. And then the rest of it is kind of traffic. I've got traffic working from Instagram, Facebook, which includes ads, of course, uh, Twitter, and then traffic uh, coming to and going from YouTube, coming to and going from uh, Spotify. All of that is what's currently working well for me. And when I go to add in a new piece, it'll look like this. So for example, I've just recently added Shopify and selling merch into this flywheel. And so now I've got Shopify in here and I've got some, some new avenues of traffic getting sent to Shopify. And then I've got a new revenue stream from Shopify coming in. And then if you look at the rest of these things, I've got a few more that I've actually been working on and have implemented, but they're not working great yet. They're not effortless. And that's these things. I've got blogging, my newsletter, I've got TikTok and I've got uh, podcasting and all that stuff I'm active on. I do, uh, I have the podcast, I have a newsletter, but I wouldn't say I'm like killing it on any of them. I'm not doing them great yet. So these are pieces that 
I kind of think of as left out and still sort of in motion. I'm still working on them. Looking at that, you can really see here that the only thing I have left to implement is courses and educational paid products and community and things like that. That's kind of the last piece that has no existence whatsoever yet. And once that's in there, we'll get to the full picture, which is this, my complete artist flywheel. Now I know this can probably be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of information here. I'm gonna include uh, the image, the first image I showed you, the full picture of my entire flywheel. I will include a link to download that image for reference if you want it in the description of this video. I would highly encourage you to download that image and use it as a reference to create your own flywheel. And your flywheel doesn't have to be anything fancy at first. Uh, I did the fancy version for this video because I wanted this video to look good. But the first version I did of my own artist flywheel was crap. I did it on a big whiteboard that I have here in my house and I just sort of scribbled it all together just to get it out of my head and down on paper so that I could step back and look at it. Though this may seem like a big step to take to like think about all these things and put them down. Uh, you may think to yourself, well, this is stupid. I can just remember all the things I need to do. I will tell you that in my own experience, writing this down and putting it out and stepping back and looking at it, even the process of making this video helped me tremendously to see where I'm going, where I want to be going and where I am currently and then how to get from point A, which is where I am, to point B, which is where I want to be. Just the, the ability to step back and look at the whole big thing in one fell swoop is a really, really important thing to have. So I really, really recommend that you take the time to put this together. And your flywheel doesn't have to be what mine is. You may not want to teach people anything. You may want to live stream. In fact, saying that out loud right now, that's something I didn't really put on here. I guess, I mean, I guess it's on YouTube for me, but my plan is to add some other live streaming things outside of just the Q and A. So that will be another part of my flywheel. So yours might look completely different than this, but whatever it is you do and whatever it is you want to be doing as an artist, as a creator, I highly recommend you write it down and display it out like this so that you can have a complete roadmap for where you want to go and what you ultimately want to be doing with your time and your career. So that's it for this one. Before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, turn on notifications, and share it with your friends if you dig it. At the end here, I've got a couple things that you can check out. And as always, thanks for being here, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.